Good evening, televiewers. Uh, welcome to Prime uh, on my Media Prime. This uh, day we are commencing to discuss uh, the crossover from uh, 2020 to 2021, uh, uh, talking about the 31st of um, December night. Many persons have a special way of celebrating the end of uh, the year. Some celebrate it in bars, others celebrate it in uh, uh, romantic areas, uh, but uh, many more Christians uh, spend the, the 31st of uh, December in the presence of uh, the Lord in the churches. So, so many crossover nights have been announced across uh, the world. So, this day we are looking at uh, the mystery behind crossing over to another year in the presence of the Lord. And uh, this day we were we are supposed to receive two men of God to tell us the mystery behind this uh, crossover night. Uh, Pastor Chris Vewuse is already in the house. Good evening and welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Liu, and good evening to all the viewers of Prime R and all those who are uh, watching this television, my media prime. Yeah, we are expecting Prophet Elijah Abiri all the way from uh, Limbe. I called him, he was stopped in traffic. We hope that he tries to beat the traffic and join us so that we tells us what is uh, behind this whole issue of crossing over. What is uh, the mystery? Let me start by asking you that question. Well, can we link the crossing over to any experience in the Bible? Yeah, uh, you know, like uh, the crossover, this, this word mm -hmm. uh, began when you look at the book of Exodus. Mm -hmm when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt. Mm -hmm. It was like a crossover. They mm -hmm. were crossing over, especially the experience they had before the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. They were crossing over, mm -hmm. and there was, there was a prescription that God gave them mm -hmm. uh, when it, had, when it uh, was concerning this uh, crossover. Mm -hmm. God told them some things to do, how they were to perform some rites, mm -hmm. which was to like exempt them from the attack of the angel of death, because uh, there was an angel that had to fly over Egypt, mm -hmm. and the firstborns of okay. the Egyptians were there you're talking the, about yeah. uh, the, the feast of the Passover. Yeah, there's, there was the Passover, and then there's a crossover through uh, the, the, the Red Sea. Yes, the crossover. Uh, the, the, there are two experiences in the Bible that mm -hmm. you, you, you can see the crossover there, mm -hmm. like the crossing over of the Red Sea, mm -hmm. and then the crossing over of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Because okay. the crossing over of the Red Sea was the first uh, thing that happened after they left Egypt. I was mm -hmm. just like uh, explaining the activities that uh, took place before they had to like face the Red Sea. Okay. When they came in front of the Red Sea, uh, God told Moses what to do. They mm -hmm. crossed over the Red Sea and they had to cross. That was with Moses. Mm -hmm. And when Moses died, God raised Joshua. And Joshua was the one who championed the crossing over of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. And that was at that juncture that they finally entered the promised land. Mm. So crossing over is uh, is a biblical uh, it's a it's a biblical experience. Mm. And now when it comes to this case, it's not about crossing over an obstacle or crossing over uh, a barrier. We're talking about living one year to the other year. Mm -hmm. So it's also like crossing over to the next year. Mm. And th there are so many implications uh, around that. Yes, uh, the implications is what I want our uh, televiewers to understand because almost every 31st at night, um, Christians across the globe find themselves in church. But it is uh, important that before they engage in this this year, 20, end of 2020 into 2021, they should ha they should know why they really are there. When I get your explanation, you see when the children of uh, the Israelites were leaving Egypt through the Red Sea, they were led by yes. somebody. Yes. Does this also tie with crossing over led by a man of God, like you and the other men of God? That is, you are taking uh, the children from one year into another? Yes, uh, because men of God are shepherds, mm. and the flock are the Christians, Yeah, the sheep. And a sh the sheep without the shepherd will get into confusion. The sheep without the shepherd will not know where the greener pastures are. Mm -hmm. and uh, that and that sheep is going to suffer hunger mm -hmm. so the shepherd knows the way 
Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they will follow me and they will not follow a stranger. Mm -hmm. So every congregation has a shepherd, has a pastor or a prophet who is the one to lead that congregation into the new year. And they got the prayer points that God will be revealing to them to pray. Pray prayer points that are strategic for maximum impact in the coming year is the responsibility of the shepherd. And the sheep will not easily know those kind of prayer points to take and i think there are a lot of things that happen in different congregations across the globe especially in this time of crossover the, the shepherd leads the flock and they cross over into the new year in the presence of the lord and in the spirit of god that's what happens during crossover because the the shepherd has a responsibility to lead the sheep and that's exactly what happens when um, the, the church, different church congregations will be crossing over into the new year. Okay, um, you let's get back to the the instance of the passing over. Yes, that is from one when when God was going to visit Egypt. Egypt. Yes, there there was there was an information or oh, uh, some something that the children of of God, the Israelites that were living in Egypt, were supposed to do, so that when the angel of death comes by they should not be attacked and before leaving egypt to cross over they were told by god to take this 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 is this to say that as the christians look forward to the 31st of uh of uh, december 2020 they should also prepare themselves so that on that day they can take full advantage of whatever uh, god had uh, well, yeah uh, uh, yes because you have actually explained it so well yeah. Uh, those were some of the prerequisites mm -hmm. requirements that god instructed moses to give to the children of israel mm -hmm. uh, because that was the last plague you know pharaoh never wanted the people of israel to go out of egypt mm -hmm. so god decided to use his mighty arm um, to to uh, to weaken pharaoh uh, and compel him to let go the people of israel and the last plague which god used was the death of the firstborns and that night god told the children of israel what to do to exempt themselves from that attack and he told them to take blood to take a lamb slaughter it use the blood put it on the lower and upper door post and he said when i see the blood i will fly over that means when that when destruction was taking place and every house that had the mark of the blood was spared those were just some uh, things, some requirements that they needed in order to stay safe. Uh, as we're getting closer to the end of the year, we, go, we have to cross to the next year. We, we have to be very vigilant. There are a lot of destructive, destructive forces that are at work. If, you, we, if we, we, are, we are current, we'll, be, we'll know of the terrible accidents that have been taking place these last days. Yes, these past two days we've recorded, uh, I think, uh, four uh, ghastly accidents that have taken lives and other mysterious occurrences uh, that so we need to be vigilant mm -hmm. because lack of vigilance can resort to casualties mm -hmm. uh, the bible says be, uh, pray and watch most people just pray and they are not watchful mm -hmm. being watchful talks about vigilance sometimes you may want to go somewhere and if you are in the spirit the, the lord may dr drop something in your spirit don't go there and information can come into you don't go there and you will not go but if you are spiritually destructive, uh, you, you may not be able to get that, those sickness and you may run into trouble. So it is important to be in the spirit because God can communicate only to somebody who is in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, man is a tripartite being, mm -hmm. spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. And for God to relate with man, your spiritual part, that spiritual part of you must be matured and developed so that God can talk to you. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says God is looking for true worshippers, those who worship Him in truth and in spirit. The, your spiritual antenna should be should to be, be active. To be active. Mm -hmm. If not, you you may not receive signals from heaven, and then God may be warning you on something, and you don't hear Him, and you go into that trouble. Mm -hmm. There was. Let me just give you an experience. There's a there's a brother who was uh, actually traveling. And as he was in the bus, he had already taken his seat in the bus. And he heard a voice from within him, don't go. And he, he just obeyed. He left that seat. As he was stepping out, there was somebody who was asking, are you no, you're no more going? So there's a space there. The guy uh, rushed and took the seat of that guy. And this guy stayed back and took the, uh, the next bus. 
to his greatest surprise on the way just some uh, kilometers ahead he went that bus that left had fallen into the water mm -hmm. and everybody there was like declared dead because they were helping to drag out the dead bodies from the bus from the from the water imagine if he was not if he was spiritually insensitive mm -hmm. he would have died he would have been one of the casualties but because he was in the spirit he received that signal don't go and that's how he did not go and he saved his life so these uh, last days we have to be very prayerful very vigilant we have to be sensitive so that we don't fall into trouble and mind you the last days of the year the last uh, days of the year appear to be uh, very very crucial and uh, dangerous eh? yes because these last days you know according as we are preparing to get the best in 2021 occultic people are preparing also to get the best mm -hmm. some of them their blood banks are dried so they need to replace uh, to fill their blood banks in occultism you know occultism thrives with the blood demons feast on blood mm. and those who are in a good relationship with demons occultic people need blood in their blood banks and it is this end of year that they want to do everything to get more blood so that they can be stronger in the coming year mm -hmm. because their strength comes from sucking blood and that's why people must be prayerful and they must do some declarations not my blood not my life not my destiny they must pray some serious prayers in order to stay safe in this kind of yep. time okay. it means it means uh, they need a uh, blood uh, to fill their banks in preparation for next year for next year so to say that our christians themselves need to get more spiritual to prepare themselves build their spiritual capacities in preparation for next year too. that is it they have to build themselves in order to be better prepared for next year yeah but on sundays uh church services were going on across the world also what were some of the things you told the christians to do because they said okay there should be was it the blood of the lamp on the yeah on the door post now mm -hmm. so that when the when the angel of death comes they will not be harmed in the case of the bible mm -hmm. are there some prescriptions you gave christians as they prepare to cross over like i i, I said you know most christians focus only on prayer prayer mm -hmm. is important but prayer cannot answer every question mm -hmm. prayer is not the key of everything you need to pray there's a place of prayer like there's also a place of being vigilant mm -hmm. and there is also a place of using your mind being rational mm -hmm. being able to think out a solution because most people when they have issues they may only focus on prayer and they think that they will pray their way out of the situation not knowing that sometimes god wants you to also use your brain because he did not give us the brain for decoration that's why uh, they are persecuting churches in africa because most churches in africa are only concentrating on prayers and prayers without necessarily teaching people how to make their lives better by giving them some practical steps that can help them to be better Mm -hmm. and i think it is time for a revolution to begin in the in the church mm -hmm. we we don't just need to be praying you enter some churches you even hear the kind of prayers mm -hmm. you you feel like you not even praying with them because that prayer is too childish you know mm -hmm. so i think i like one of the things i told our people my people is that they have to be prayerful they have to be vigilant and they have to take stock of their lives. You do not tell your people. People are watching you now. So you should yeah, tell them. I, that's what, if I told them, mm. a message to one is a message to all. If I told my people, it's the same thing that I'm talking to those who are watching. Yes. Uh, that in this uh, time of the year, we got to be very prayerful. And it's a time to sit down and think. The prodigal son did not come out of his captivity by prayers. The Bible says after he understood that, he had messed up with his life. He sat down and thought and said, I, my father has servants who are better than I am. And if I go back to my father and tell him, father, take me as one of your servants, not even as your son. I know he's going to take me. He reasoned himself out of that captivity. Mm -hmm. He did not pray. The prodigal son did not pray. He only thought, the Bible says he came to himself, meaning he was thinking and realized. So there is a place of thinking that must be effective if we must uh, have the best in 2021. You must sit down and ask pertinent questions. What can I do to change my condition as I'm entering the new year?
what are some of the things that i failed to, to, to do you must take stock of your life mm. if you, you everybody must be true to himself that there are some things i didn't do that i was supposed to do this year and then as i'm entering the next year i have to correct these errors if mm. not i'll be going around in a circle mm -hmm. i'll be stagnating so there are things i have to do to improve and it shouldn't just turn around prayers it should turn around many things there are people who are lazy and praying Mm -hmm. prayer is not a cure to laziness you have to break the whole of laziness by walking mm -hmm. so if you are lazy and you go and sleep in the church and you are praying from morning to evening poverty will continue to be your, ne your nearest neighbor mm -hmm. you see so okay. there's, there's some things we have to do in order to i want, I want to, us to clarify uh mr leo good evening so i'm watching from the united arab Emir emirates um the pastor said uh, the Israelites crossed the Red Sea on dry ground, not over. Uh, yes, even if he was on, gra uh, on a dry ground, but it was movement from Egypt to somewhere now. That, that is crossing over now. It was crossing over. I don't know what he, he means by the pastor says they crossed over. Mm -hmm. The truth is that they moved it, from one. It one... was an obstacle. The Red Sea was an obstacle. Yeah. So by miracle. They crossed over to the other side mm -hmm. so the red sea was like a blockage that was hindering them from crossing uh, to the other side mm -hmm. and by a miracle the red sea got dried and they crossed so they crossed over that obstacle so i don't see why he's uh stressing on that point yeah but uh what is the spiritual significance of a uh, way for different put is there a spiritual significance of uh, the 31st of December there is a it marks the end of something mm -hmm. and the beginning of something mm -hmm. you see the Bible says better is the, the end. end of something mm -hmm. than the beginning so when we're getting to the end of the year and you are must you, you have understanding of the end of something mm -hmm. you know that there are so many blessings that God pours at the end Mm -hmm. and you must be spiritually positioned to grab these blessings that's why the end of the year is very very important mm -hmm. because the way you end something like the way you end this year determines how you get the, the, mm -hmm. how you start 2021 mm -hmm. you can miss an hour this end of year and look for it in january without getting it so there is no time to play there is no time to waste as you were concluding with this year you have to make sure you make you maximize all th that god has a portion or has uh, put in your life okay so uh there is a sp spiritual significance but this is not necessarily bi biblical yes a spiritual significance yeah but and let me also tell you this one of the important things mm. crossing over and crossing over in the house of god mm. means you respect god as the master of the universe the bible says if god does not build he that builds builds in vain so a wise builder builds with god the year is ending we are grateful to god for having preserved us and protected us how many people were victims of covid 19 great men with huge sums of money in their accounts they were cleared away by COVID-19, mm -hmm. and most of us, most of us who are, uh, most of us don't have that kind of money, and we were spared by the mercies of God. So this is the end of year. We have to be grateful to God that He has preserved and protected us and carried us throughout this year. So the person who is not thinking about God this end of year is foolish because he is ungrateful. Is somebody who is an angry because. If you are alive, you owe God thanks. You owe God gratitude for the fact that he has taken you throughout the year up to this moment. So this is the moment to be grateful to God, to be appreciating him, and to be also holding on to him to help you have the best in the coming year. Okay, good evening, Mr. Liu, and Happy New Year in advance. Same to you. Uh, for me, the team for crossover should be stripping off that doesn't belong to us as Africans. Um, the African continent equally needs a new direction now. Eh? Uh, in what way? <laughs> <laughs>
we we we, um, we we always we always we always blame we always blame uh the white for our for our, our miseries our, our misery and uh, we find we are asking ourselves why we pray most in africa uh countries like china and others don't pray but they are living far better than we we do is it that uh, god does not answer our prayers don't we think like you said that there should be a revolution yeah the there, there is supposed to be a revolution but we don't we shouldn't undermine the place of prayers mm -hmm. the truth is that if you look at this pandemic covid 19 mm -hmm. you will understand that god intervened in africa the wife of Bigit said there will be dead bodies on the streets of africa mm -hmm. as it happened it did not happen god frustrated that demonic prophecy our people resisted and they are still resisting even the vaccine that they are trying to project that agenda, to push that agenda. Our people are comfortable and we are resisting that COVID-19. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, it's not, it, it has not made terrible news like it has made in other continents. So don't we see that somehow God is fighting for us. God is helping Africa. And it's, I'm sure he's doing so because Africans are praying. So we shouldn't undermine the place of prayer. Rather, we should add to prayer thinking how to create things mm -hmm. how to be developed mentally mm -hmm. and in other 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 aspects without eliminating prayers okay benjamin writing from berman that says uh good evening so are you people saying that if you are in your house and not in church you are not crossing over or what okay i, li I like that question the truth is that uh your faith when you stay in your house and pray and carry on your work with God it's not bad but let me tell you that it is better two are better than one the Bible says iron sharpened iron alone in your house you can't sharpen yourself to that extent that being in the church one brother praying his prayer can sharpen you just his presence can sharpen you that's why it's good to be in fellowship the Bible says in the book of Hebrews do not forsake the assembling of the saints God is saying, don't forsake fellowship. Don't stop going to church. Be in the congregation of brethren. Mm -hmm. Because there, the Bible says, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in harmony. Because that, it is like precious oil that runs from the head, head of Aaron right down to his beard and to the edges of his garment and that is where God commands his blessing so it is more blessed to be in fellowship than to isolate yourself in your house so it so I think he he, he is saying if uh, he stays in his house is it not also being in the spirit it's also being in the spirit bread I will tell you it is not as beneficial as being in the place where we have like-minded brethren praying and even the word of god coming sharpens you and and and, and stirs you up for the best in the, the coming year okay um is it a time for to thank god like you just said yeah that is consciously christians uh non-christians should come together to say even if i have no prayer to to make to god if i have no petition to present to god let me thank God for sparing my life, especially uh, going through a very, very difficult year like uh, 2020. Let me tell you something, uh, Mr. Liu. Mm -hmm. uh, in our church, in our congregation, there has never been a day where we have more people like the 31st night. People troop into the church the 31st night. That is to tell you that many people have the consciousness of the fact that God is there and God has kept them alive. Anybody you will find not being conscious of God in the 31st night, I'm sure that person may never be conscious of God. There are three times people go to church. Some, some people go to church a year. Easter, Christmas, and New Year. Mm -hmm. You see? Because those are times where we, 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 we sit down and ponder about issues touching our faith. You're crossing over to the next year. There are some of your classmates who are gone, who are, who are now history it should ring a bell in your mind that god has favored me mm -hmm. god has shown me love god has shown me favor mm -hmm. so i have to be able to appreciate him for that if not of his mercy if not of his mercy mm -hmm. we would have been consumed 
Okay. Uh, is it also to say that I want to start the year with God, my work, because the 31st, we are talking about uh, midnight now. Yes. The beginning of the year. I'm yes. starting my work this year with, with God. Yes, uh, that's a good resolution for somebody to take. Because when you are working with God, you will have the best that God can afford. There are so many blessings that God gives us when we work with him. Mm -hmm. There are some things you will not get into because God is with you. Witches and wizards mm -hmm. cannot, devast cannot destroy your life mm -hmm. when God's hand is upon you. There, there are some certain things that cannot befall you when God is with you. The Bible says a thousand may fall at your right hand, ten thousand at your side, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes will you before, behold the payment of the wicked. Casualties can be around you, but without touching you. You can be exempted. God's presence can provoke exemption from some evil things. So I think it is wise for anybody to take this resolution that as this year is beginning or as this year is concluding, I want to begin 2021 with God. I want to make a U-turn to, to, to that evil path that has taken me to nowhere. I want to walk on the path of God so that I can have the best of God as the year begins. So it's wisdom to work with God. It's wisdom to work with God. Uh, yes. Good evening, Mr. Leo and Pastor Chris. Uh, pastor information is very correct and uh, also fasting is very necessary in some cases. Felix Egbe is writing from the United Arab Emirates. Okay. Good evening to you. This one says, Good evening, Mr. Leo and the evangelist in the studio. Wishing you a prosperous new year in advance. I think my crossover team should be stripping all what uh, that doesn't belong to us as Africans and promoting our cultures in our churches because if some one is not culturally balanced, then he or she cannot be futuristic. So our African drums and other local musical instruments and apparatus, and even our dressing should be promoted in our churches. African uh, churches import these things with millions of francs CFA being paid to Asians who are not uh, Christians. Uh, good evening to you. Um, it makes some sense now. Yeah, it, it makes some sense, you know, but it doesn't mean that people should be free, okay, of course. Mm -hmm. we, we, we shouldn't be carved out to live at, in a particular way. Mm -hmm. We should be free to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, he talked about musical instruments. Yes, I he think, talked about culture. Uh, yeah, I talked about our culture. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some things, uh, part, there are some things in our culture that don't go with our faith, our Christian faith. And we have to dis we have to do away with those negative aspects mm -hmm. of tradition. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure he, what, what, culture. what I'm sure what he means has to do with just worship. Now, worship the way we, we dress, the instruments we play, this, even the songs we sing. Uh, yeah. Take the case of Nigeria. When you see the Yoruba worship, you see typical you, they, they worship in typical Yoruba fashion. Mm -hmm. Most of them are dressed in typical uh, Yoruba regalia. If you, you get down to the Igbos, is the same. We should maintain Are our we? identity, you know. Mm -hmm. But we should not also un uh, fail to understand that the world is now a global village. Yeah. What you do here can bless somebody anywhere. So, but if we just decide to catch ourselves and say, okay, let's uh, promote our culture and all that is uh, an African to promote what's African, we have to promote things that are us. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't limit ourselves to, to that because with the world is a global village. You can stay here and touch and bless somebody who is out there. Yeah, but the Yorubas, uh, they are in the, global, in the global village. But when you look at them, worship and do certain things, it tells you that these people know they don't want to uh, leave their roots. When you look at uh, the Igbos also. Maybe they don't, they don't have a means of leaving their roots but if they have like don moin don moin sang a song in Igbo, you know mm -hmm. i listened to his song sung by don moin in Igbo. Mm -hmm. so so he, he, he they, some of them like what we're doing mm -hmm. but they don't just know how to to to, to get into it okay uh, I think we, it's not bad we hope we, we hope that uh uh, Prophet Elijah at Birish, all the way from Lima, beats traffic. He told me that he was already in town and held uh, in traffic coming 
to our studios. We hope that he joins us so that uh, together we can discuss the mystery behind this uh, crossover. Some interesting messages here. Agawa Fashion, writing from uh, Kumba, long-time brother. I have not heard from you. Greetings to you, Mr. Liu, and to the guests in the studio. I'm writing from Kumba. Crossing over in God's house is more important than spending it in a bar. As a Christian, it's better to feast in the house of the Lord and what you have uh, have to note spiritual things of God can't be explained to people who can't understand the things of God. We need to be happy to see the new year in his presence. When we walk, when you walk <coughs> with God, you walk for God. Agawa fashion in Kumba. Greetings to Prophet uh, Chris is Pastor Chris. Uh, you are Prophet Chris too? I'm Prophet Chris. But you call me Pastor, uh, that means nothing. It's not even titles that make a man. <laughs> it is what he does okay. that fetches those titles. Okay. Uh, now, let me take this one. Uh, good evening, Mr. Leo. Crossing over is good, but with the Anglophone people, you don't stay out at night at uh, 10 p.m. You will be talking with the police. Okay, it's Master Henry writing from uh, Kumba. Okay, this one says, Good evening to you all. I am Nguyen Emmanuel Jum from Bamenda. Daddy, you are the best. God bless you. I have a problem. Can I talk with my pastor? God bless you, Daddy. Um, you have a problem? Is it personal? If you ask, send the send the problem. I'll ask him, and I'm sure he will provide you an answer uh, live. So that is here for us all. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> all of us must cross over. Hello, Mr. Liu. I'm Gu Porongong from Akale Street, Kumba. Thank you for the man of God on board today. Please, I wish to note this year 2020 has been a successful one for me. Must I cross over to uh, man of God? Ah, your message is not clear. You say sir, it has been successful. You should cross over now. He doesn't. He want to die <laughs> <laughs> because maybe he doesn't want to cross over. He doesn't want to see twenty twenty one. But I guess maybe there's an error with the message. Yeah, he thinks Mr. Liu and Prof. Uh, Chris, uh, your program throughout the year has been an, so enriching. May the new year 2021 bring you fortune and may God strengthen you to continue enlightening the population. Charles, writing from Yaoundé. Thank you very Thank you much, very much uh, Charles. Charles. And we pray same for you. This one says, warm greetings, sir. I'm Andy from my 18. I appreciate the management of this program. And for your guests, thank you, sir, for educating us on how and where to cross over better. is one day in his house than a thousand elsewhere thank you too and god bless you too now i'm also a man of god now. <laughs> of course we are we are we're all men of god I'm not a man of satan of course what you're doing here is a very great work because okay. you are helping people out there to be informed okay i'm asa nelson from Douala village uh, good evening to you in the studio i like your program because it ha it has helped me to know so many things i wish to ask uh, the pastor how can someone really know the real true man of God, because the world now is full of fake men of God. You are an IDP. Good evening to you. Uh, Tebek Inashus, writing from the writing from. I like Allah. that we talked to him. Okay. okay. Because he says, how do I know a true man of God? Pray mm -hmm. to the Lord. Okay. Then be also a studious student of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit and wait for the Bible to be explained to you. Try to be offensive when it comes to reading and understanding the Bible. Because if you understand the Bible, you'll be able to know when a pastor is doing gymnastics. Because you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Most of the people that don't know true men of God are ignorant people. Are people who are not enlightened as far as the word of God is concerned. Because if the Bible says you know them by their fruits, what tells you their fruits? It is the Bible that tells you their fruits. You see the things they do, the things they say, if it is scriptural or if it is biblically balanced. If it's not, don't go to that kind of church. And also, don't go to a church where the pastor spends all the time casting demons and cannot explain to you one scripture or even more scriptures. Because that kind of church is just like a gymnastic ground. If you if if from morning to evening in a church it is out 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 fire 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 that kind of church cannot help somebody to grow 
and that kind of pastor needs to go back and sit down and allow the holy spirit to teach him because a true man of god is a man of god who fits you with his, the word of god it's not just all about gymnastics it's not all about prophecies me i prophesy me i i do deliverance but i believe that what is more to that is the word of god the word of god should be the foundation of every man of god so that if you are scripturally sound you will know easily fake people okay good evening i'm jovet in kumba crossing over in church is so that you receive all the new year blessings thank you uh jovet um this one reads <coughs> greetings mr leo <coughs> uh crossing over is good in the church because i'm sure even native doctors won't pass it in their homes and for this one is writing from yaoundé good evening to you and for uh good evening pastor can you tell me what is tight and which place in the bible says uh we should give one tenth of our salaries i am god will also live prince Afrik, writing from elak oku before we cross over pastor can you tell me what is tight okay uh, uh that's not the st our topic for today please <laughs> good evening mr Liu. i'm terry from yaoundé i want to say hello to the prophet and thanks for enlightening us i am enjoying the program thank you uh, very uh, much good evening it's still benjamin believe me with the situation of our town some people can't find themselves in church till midnight so tell me are we not also in the spirit uh this is uh, peculiar especially for people living in the northwest and southwest, southwest regions if they cannot find themselves in churches you they must be aware of yeah uh the truth is that there are churches to that stream live on mm -hmm. facebook mm -hmm. social media so because if you cannot be able to move to the church mm -hmm. then join any service that you think can nourish you even online mm -hmm. watch it on your tv watch it on your 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 your, your phone mm -hmm. and i think it's also going to be of great help to you if you cannot physically be there just be connected online mm -hmm. you will still benefit the distance face. is not a barrier distance is not a barrier mm -hmm. there are people who have received miracles at a distance just by uh, watching their screen or touching their screen there are people who have been healed just by touching their screen so distance is indeed not a barrier mm -hmm. you can if you cannot come there watch it online you will still be blessed okay you're still going to be blessed uh are there some special blessings that come through the service of the 31st uh are I, there some I, outstanding testimonies yeah the truth is that let me tell you what, what happens sometimes in most of these crossover services mm. uh the man of god has to do the prophetic declaration mm. Uh, which is very powerful the bible yeah, says we are, to, you, we, we, we are going to discuss that yeah okay mm -hmm. because there's life and death in the power of the tongue yeah when you speak some words over somebody you are you are you are, you are creating something because words have creative energy and also uh, in the prophetic ministry of course man of god can go can open the eyes of the man of god he sees one or two things about people and he will declare it and he's activating it so that things can happen in the coming year and also what will be taught from Eli, the bible Eli, uh every indication uh prophet elijah is there can you can you send someone to get him he just indicated that he's around can we get him into the studio yeah yeah you see so the, it's oh, it's a it's a night pregnant with so many activities mm -hmm. first of all the word of god will be coming in power mm -hmm. and you know there is nothing that can change a man like the word of god mm -hmm. To be better prepared is to be nourished with the word mm -hmm. so that night i'm sure the man of god will certainly the men of god in their different congregations will teach their people to, in, on how to position themselves for the best in the coming year and also it's like and also how to prepare for the challenges of the coming year because every year has uh, victories and challenges we must not only be focusing on the good side like this year we thought everything was okay 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 until the outburst of COVID-19 you see that somehow we should also be be able to forecast that there will be challenges and mm. better prepare for it mm. yeah but uh God did not reveal that this year was going to be particularly difficult when we go through when we go by most of the things uh, that were declared at the at the, the start of the year oh uh, no there were also there were prophetic declare there were prophecies that pointed out 
the fact that there will be challenges. Mm -hmm. That 2020 was going to yeah, be there will be, Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, um, we have uh, just been joined by a Prophet Elijah Abiri, all the way from mm. uh, the OPEC city, Limbe. He's in the house with us. Uh, welcome, Prophet. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. And welcome, uh, Mr. Liu. Thank you, Mr. Liu, for this special invitation. Uh, good evening, sir. More grace, sir. Salute you. Thank you. And special greetings to our people in Limbe, the OPEC city, and to the DO, the SDO, and to the city mayor. And to those that are watching me in Limbe and all over Cameroon, God bless you mightily. Yes, um, we were already discussing about the mysteries uh, behind uh, this uh, crossing over. It's not an ordinary day? Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, crossover, crossover is, is, is very significant. It's a very special uh, big odds where every Christian, why not uh, pagans, should take it very serious. Uh, God showed me something in the book of Exodus chapter 33. Okay. Exodus chapter 33 from uh, verse 14. He said, I read, and he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. That's King James Version. For where shall it be? And thy people have found grace in thy sight. It is not, uh, he said, it is not in that, in that thou goest with us, so shall we be separated. And thy people uh, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. This King James Version is a little bit uh, difficult. It takes some spiritual intelligence to download this. So this is mostly just telling God that, God, if you are not going with us, we are not going anywhere. So you know what? If your presence is not with us, uh so we cross into the red sea so they were just he was telling god so in our own season like now we are not we don't have any red sea we have if you want to go to somebody made a challenge you i say prophet uh, they say you guys are powerful you command sickness people are here why can't you walk upon the sea or open river jordan or open a sea to enter equatorial guinea and i told them i said the days of moses there were no boats there were no ships but today we have ships. if i need to go to malabo or spain i'll enter ship <laughs> <laughs> so in our own time, we don't have all these uh, difficult challenges. What we have now is some spiritual battles and some uh, 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 demonic battles, like other things that we have that we all know. Uh, crossing over from evil forces, crossing over from barrenness, you can be attributed to whatever challenges somebody is going through in life. Mm -hmm. could be attributed to your own life. You look at your life from January to December, and you think that things are still the same, mm -hmm. or you are in a level, you want an upgrade. I said the other day, if somebody has even 10 billion francs in your bank account, and for five years, you still have 10 billion francs you are stagnant so you need that upgrade so that crossover uh, uh, we need to, why is it important to do it in church because in the presence of the lord the bible said there's fullness of joy mm -hmm. where we are in the church we're in the presence of in the end of, of, of god where we are with others and another scripture said how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to unite together so crossing over in your parlor watching on television is not enough you need to come to church in the presence of the lord where you enter a new year with god you receive a prophetic word and a prophetic declaration and some prayers over your life that will precede you to the years ahead so that's why it's very important to cross in the house of God. And where you cross over matters. Who you cross who you cross over with matters. The things you do while crossing over it also matters. So the place you cross over, uh, the person you cross over with, uh, the, and the, the the Moses the Moses that is taking you through. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. The one taking you through, the Moses. Your Moses is very important. Your most is important. The, 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 the sanctuary, the church, the arena is very important. So, sorry to say, but I will not apologize to anybody. They are not, not every church is a church of God. There are a lot of evil and fake churches now, and people operate under some power. So, we need uh, to be very careful where we also cross over. It's important. Okay. Yeah, you raised that already. What yes, uh, I, actually, I actually raised it because, mm -hmm. you know, as a, as a man of God, uh, you should be able, you should master the operations of god the bible says moses knew the ways of god mm -hmm. so if a man of god is void of the ways of god he cannot be an effective shepherd or leader to be able to take the people from one level to the other mm -hmm. look at the cross the, the, the two events that characterize crossover in the bible mm -hmm. which i made mention of before the crossing of the red sea mm -hmm. there was somebody who was ahead and mm -hmm. that person was moses the people when they saw the red sea they were scared they even started blaming Moses for taking them out of Egypt. That it would have been better for them to die in Egypt. 
like the message that came from Kumba now. You see, mm -hmm. so now Moses was very courageous. He was steadfast. He was firm. If imagine that if there was another pastor there who was fearful, he would have sunk with those people. He would have frustrated himself and frustrated those people. So, like the, the man of God is talking about, the person you cross over with must master spiritual operations. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't master these things, he will not be able to lead you to the next year. Yeah. Uh, Prophet, you're talking about the importance of this day. You have been running uh, these services already, mm -hmm. and there are some testimonies as uh, things that happen on the 31st. Yes, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. In fact, in our church on daily basis, we have trem we have tremendous testimonies. Mm. If we need to share testimonies here, yeah, I'm sure we need like to, like three years okay. <laughs> every day to show. Uh, but I'm sure that we have some here that we can we can just watch. Uh, if the technicians are with, they can show some you things give, that you gave us. it to them already. Yes, they have them. Okay, they have them already. Uh, okay, to to prove that the night of the 31st is not just any ordinary night. Yes, but there's something that both of you talked about. Some of us think that it's just passing on to another year, but uh, it is also important that as we cross over to 2021, 2021 is a greater number to 2020. Mm -hmm. So from every indication in life, in every ramification and levels, people are supposed to upgrade. Yeah, uh, the Bible says the path of the just mm -hmm. is like light that shines brighter and brighter, meaning that uh, every day there should be an improvement. Mm -hmm your light should shine brighter the next day than the previous so 2021 should be better mm -hmm. than 2020 mm -hmm. so aiming at the best is not sinful is right mm -hmm. we almost we should have expectations of good things happening which are better than what we have been experiencing yes uh, i asked this question already at the level of uh, the uh, Jesus Alive Ministries in Limbe, mm -hmm. but that's that's the church. Yes, sir. Jesus Alive, Alive Ministry. Ministry. Yes, in uh, Limbe, uh, certainly you already have told the Christians how uh, they should get themselves prepared for this uh, journey across. Okay. Yes, they are ready. Like what we are watching now, that is a crossover night for 2019 till 2020. Okay. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. That was for last year. It was powerful. We have we have recorded tremendous testimonies. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I cannot count. And by the grace of God, we have about 74 women mm -hmm. that have testified for the fruit of the womb. You know, I told somebody, I said, ministry is about resort. I don't believe in stories. Okay. I believe in resort when it comes to ministry. I don't believe in talking. Mm -hmm. I, I like resort, proof of what God is doing in the place. Jesus made it very clear on the cross of Calvary. He said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. Barrenness is finished. Untimely death is finished. Satanic power and oppression over our life is finished. That's why I told somebody, I say, I privilege, I can't die untimely death. Forget it. Mm -hmm. I'm just from Limbe. I was running on 120, 120 kilometers, high speed. Mm -hmm. and I'll be, when I'm running, I'm not the one doing angels are there. So Jesus said it's finished. We are living above principles and powers. We are living in a, in, in a season where there are a lot of evil forces. And Jesus has given us that key to bind and mm -hmm. to lose. Mm -hmm. He said whatever we bind on earth is bind in heaven. What we lose on earth is lose in heaven. Mm -hmm. So uh, we talked 74. You know, not everybody testified. 74 women that were unable to carry a baby. They are having their babies already. Are you, saying, babies? are you saying that if I go to Limbe? I mean, so I'll come and do investigation. That is just a proof. This one was coming from Bamenda. Mm. She was having fiber, 10.6 centi fiber in her womb. Mm. She left Bamenda, watched me on television when uh, Awilo was still with the other TV. Mm. He saw me on TV, came to uh, uh, Limbe, 10.6 centi fiber. Doctor had to operate her. And when she came, I prayed, I canceled fiber. I said, I changed fiber to fine boy. Mm. She put to bed a bouncing baby boy. Fiber disappeared, operation canceled. Mm. That's the lady. She, her name is Constant. You can check her on Facebook. That's on Facebook. You can go Facebook. You see her. You can ask her one on one. Well, I, so, need, I need to visit her now. Why should I go to Facebook? Yeah, so a lot is of... Is she in Kumba, in Limbe? No, she's in Bamenda. She left Bamenda to Limbe. Okay, I'll take her number. Yes. I'll call her, yeah. In Limbe, we have tremendous... A lady just testified. The mother was 50 years old. Mm. She came for prayers and I prayed for her. The more, a woman of 50 years old get married. There are some issues in people's life where they need some force. So I call it a, a supernatural force. Mm. Supernatural grace to change some story. Okay, uh, Prophet Elijah, all the way from uh, the Jesus Life uh, Ministries in Limbe, is mm. with us to talk about the crossover. Uh, Eli, I, in the video you just uh, played, I see lots of candles. 
almost every, everywhere, candle, candle, candle. Is it some, some mystical? No, the candle. Yeah. The candle, the candle is just uh, an indication. We pray with it when we are crossing over. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual demonstration. Like, okay, we are lighting our life. Mm -hmm. I was declaring word like, okay, as we lift up the candles and and we project fire or let the fire of the Holy Ghost precede us mm -hmm. into the year 2020. Mm -hmm. That any witch or wizard, any ungodliness or any evil from any forces or from any evil altar or shrine or temple mm -hmm. that we try to stop our blessing in 2020 as we enter 2020 from 2019. Let that of god now burn them mm -hmm. so the fire was a prophetic declaration like the fire will precede you fire of god mm -hmm. physically now we hold the candle there i'm declaring it spiritually mm -hmm. so sometimes we will walk our uh, physical and spiritual we demonstrate power like jesus uh, prayed for the brother the other the blind Bartholomew. he was blind from birth jesus used much in another word for pigeon put up water put up his eye and the man got healed so there are some time we use some physical I see demonstration candle, I see, uh, mantle. mantle like i have one here that's it I call it mantle. You bought mine? Uh, I can give you mine. I just have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a handkerchief, like you can we see. And it's spiritual fortification. We have them all. Like this one is a handkerchief, like you see. My name is written there, and it's, it's written there the mantle. And why is where is this inspiration coming from? Uh, my name is Elijah. It's not a title. My father, by the grace of God, was a reverend pastor with the Apostolic Church Cameroon. So I was born in the church, seven of us. My father went to Baptist Bible School, came out as a pastor. God married my mother. So seven of us, so I'm a priest by God's grace. So the name Elijah was given to my father when my mother uh, had my elder brother just two months old still breastfeeding. My name came to the church, to my father Elijah. So when I was praying and God gave me a lot of mysteries about Prophet Elijah, you know, he had a mantle. And I'm going to give you our scripture that we'll be crossing over with. That's in our uh, uh, second Kings chapter 2, verse 11, when Prophet Elijah had to ascend to heaven, body, soul, and spirit on the chariot of fire. So God, Elisha, Elijah the prophet, gave his mantle to Elisha the son. Mm -hmm. So we have our mantle. What we already see there is the mantle. God has used this mantle and removed cockroach from the womb of a woman. Mm -hmm. A woman came to church, she was sick, eight years, stomach pain, liver, all kind of body pains. She used the mantle and touched it. Life cockroach came out. We have the testimony. You will watch it. You will see the woman. She okay, came to church. Um, I, I, I hope, I hope the, the videos are there. The I video is there for the life yes. cockroach. Yes. Um, man of God, do you, you are going to organize a listener? Yes. Are you yes. going to see candles and the mantles? Yes. Um, we're not going to use mantles because I believe in every uh, ministry mm. you operate according to what you have received. Mm -hmm. yeah. No two ministries are the same mm -hmm. because they, do, they, they have different ministers mm -hmm. with different callings and then with a different way of seeing things spiritually. Mm -hmm. Now, in our ministry, we're going to be using candles. Okay. And candles, uh, we just use it as a prophetic act. Okay. You know, in the scriptures, we have prophetic acts. Like there was a time that Prophet Eli 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 Elisha, one king visited Prophet Elisha and said uh he, he because he was trying to fight a certain nation and the king said that the, uh, the, and elijah said take a bowl take an arrow mm -hmm. when he took it that was like a prophetic act producing excellent results so prophetic acts could be simple but they have greater implications for instance taking those candles holding them lighted symbolize uh, symbolize light we're entering this year carrying light we're entering this year as a spiritual illuminant we will shine as we are entering this year the bible says he makes his servants flames of fire mm -hmm. uh, you, you get it he makes his servants flames of fire so as you're you're lifting that candle it symbolizes light it symbolizes fire and you know nothing can touch fire okay so have you ever, up the, the, the new yeah, year yes have you ever seen a fly land on a hot <laughs> pot it's not possible because when the fly is coming even the sensitive nerves tells it i'm dealing with danger mm -hmm. so it takes off mm -hmm. when the, the, there are some temperatures that don't permit some things to happen mm -hmm. in our life okay. and so so that symbolizes fire and fire is a sign of dominion okay. you know so there are a lot of implications uh, th that uh, come as a result of that act where candles are lifted and okay. they are praying in church now uh, babila writing from women that say good evening uh, in the studio I have some questions to the men of God in the studio. I want to know if Jesus ever had any crossover service during his time. Uh, if Jesus had crossover mm. service, <laughs> you know, 
we have a lot of people I call self righteous people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to use the word self. I'm too radical, trust me. I want to be gentle today. <laughs> okay. The people we call self righteous people. Mm -hmm. They want to know, they want to ask, they want to ask. They want that they know which one have you applied that is working for you, sir. Don't be angry. I know that. I'm a really answer for you. I hear somebody said the other day, man of God, a tithe and offering is no more in the New Testament. Why yeah, somebody, God? somebody already sent. <laughs> Ask that question now. Yeah, Somebody yeah, yeah. said that. Said, 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 should, I, said, I, said, I said that was not the topic for today. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming to that, sir. Somebody said a uh, tithe and offering is a uh, tithe is not the New Testament, it's Old Testament. But yet they believe in the things of the Old Testament. They circumcise in the Old Testament. Are we are still circumcising today? There was deliverance in the Old Testament. We still do deliverance today. There was prophecy in the Old Testament. We still prophesy today. Why have you not said, man of God, don't prophesy to me? <laughs> or when you are sick, man of God, don't pray for me because that one was in the Old Testament. So there's a lot of mix up somewhere. <laughs> Let's, uh, the Bible is just complete. There's no way God said we should not remove anything or add anything. It's working for us. Let it work for us. You, you know, <laughs> uh, we have so many primitive believers. You know, uh, the truth is that where is it written in the Bible that Jesus bit? Good. You will not find that that he bit. So <laughs> we should not be bathing because Jesus did not bathe. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. When did Jesus use a car? Jesus did not use a car. He never fly in the plane. Mm -hmm. So never you fly in the plane mm -hmm. because Jesus did not fly in the plane. <laughs> we are living in another dispensation <laughs> and people need to be updated in their minds. We should not be primitive. He's asking when did Jesus do crossover <laughs> service? I mean, it's 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 <laughs> <interesting. laughs> okay. Good evening, yeah, good evening. Uh, Leo and crew. Are two men of God are really a true men of God because they are taking one and they talking about one and the same thing. Happy New Year to you all in advance. Charles is writing from Tico. Good evening to you, uh, Charles. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu and uh, pastors in the studio. What I understand about crossing over is not about it, but the renewal of your mind. Romans 12, uh, 2. Each time you make a new step, you have just crossed over. Richard is writing from uh, Kumba. Good evening to you. Good evening to you, uh, Mr. Liu, and greetings to the men of God. I think that being a Christian and sitting alone at home and worshipping alone doesn't really make you grow. First uh, Corinthians uh, verse uh, 7 about spiritual gifts. No one can have them all. The Bible also talks about one body with many parts from verse 12 upward on the same chapter. So when you study and worship alone, you lack a lot of things we learned from each other when we worship together. Cornelius is writing from Mamphi. Good evening to you, Cornelius. Good evening, uh, Mr. Liu and the evangelist. So happy to see that prime R is uh, diverse as it is not only focused on politics. Crossing over is necessary in church if one is able to reach the church. Remember how fierce places are in some parts of the country. Happy end of year and prosperous new year in advance. And Queen Bless is writing from Yaoundé. Good evening to you, uh, Bless. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, to the apostle in the studio because of the crisis in the Northwest. We have our crossover service from 4 p.m. and may not go above 7 p.m. Do you find any fault in that? Um, Bart Donut is writing from Bermuda. Uh, they say that because of this, the prevailing situation, their crossover may run from 4 to 7 p.m. Yes. Uh, is it the question for me? No. <laughs> so the men of God in the house. Okay. Yeah. Okay, to me, I uh, think for security reason it's okay. okay. For security reason it's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, I think that the problem is not just the time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know there are some prayers you pray and then you reap the results soon. Okay. There are some prayers, there are some things you enjoy this year, not because you prayed this year, but because you prayed last year. So it's not, every time you pray, it's not a wastage. You can prepare even crossover one week before the crossover. It's possible. Mm -hmm. But I think that if they have the means to go to the church, they would go it is good to go but since uh, there are security challenges in these uh, two regions i uh, think uh, those who have because there are some places where we don't have uh, those uh, security challenges as in other places so if you are in a place that is remote and you have those challenges 
I think it's wise to, to, okay. to, to come at that time. Emil writing from Jutin says, Hey, Mr. Leo, to the man of God uh, in the studio. I like his analysis about crossing over and if God can spare us see the new year, it will be wonderful. Esther writing from Kumba says, uh, Good evening, Mr. Leo, and to the man of God in the, in the crossing depend on our faith and how we believe in the gospel. Esther writing from Yaoundé says, Good evening, Mr. Liu, and to the men of God in the studio, especially to Prophet Abiri. He is my prophet, Mr. Liu. Let's just believe and have uh, faith. I am a living testimony for what uh, Prophet Abiri of fire is saying. Esther is writing from Yaoundé. Okay, they call it Prophet prophet of fire? Yeah, Prophet of fire. <laughs> like the Elijah name is a, is a name, is not a title. Mm -hmm. Elijah in the Bible was the prophet of fire. Mm -hmm. So my name is Prophet Elijah Biri, the prophet of fire. So we are inviting everybody that is watching us. I'm inviting everybody in social life ministry. If you're around Limbe, uh, Boya, Mutengene, here in Tuala, just come. We have series of things that God has done. Like I said, ministries resort. Mm -hmm. And uh, things, a lot of things. A, a, a lady, 62 years old lady, this she's in U.S., she contacted me, saw my number on Facebook, took my number, wrote me on WhatsApp, and I prayed for her. She never had a child, nor a husband. I prayed for her. She have a husband, and we are thanking God now with the big girl she have already. Mm. A woman that has crossed monopause, but she's having a child now, so to speak. So crossover is very important now. Uh, it's, it's something that very, you have a, very, you have a, a spiritual significance. Mm. Like moving from barrenness to, to fruitfulness. fruitfulness. Okay from from poverty to wealth mm -hmm. from demonic oppression to uh, godly protection mm -hmm. and some people have been praying like i said your man of god you need a man of god seriously speaking and not just any kind of person there are some people that we pray fire prayer everything carry bible put under their pillow sleep but yet that same night the evil marine spirit and spirit wise spirit husband still torments them Mm -hmm. Now, the kind of grace you submit under will determine your level of spirituality. What protects you, the grace that it protects you, that, that is working the life of that man of God will work for you. Mm -hmm. So, this woman have a baby. And there are other testimony there. This brother was in Sonara for six years. Uh, uh, she, she had what we call, he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. When he came, I prayed God healed him. A lady left this team, Dwala, came to Linde. She was having epilepsy. The testimony is there. Uh, she had epilepsy for 10 years, falling epilepsy. Her mm -hmm. kid sister falling epilepsy, three years. Mm -hmm. They came to Limbe, I prayed for them. Uh, using the same mantle like you are seeing, God healed them. You drop mine here. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, so that is it. I think they can allow us to listen to it, maybe. Okay, uh, can we get testimony very briefly? Eh? Okay. She was suffering from epilepsy for the past 10 years. Her kid sister, epilepsy for three years. It was an affliction in the family, but when they encountered the God of Prophet Elijah and buried the Prophet of Fire, they were healed and delivered completely. When two power meet, the lesser power must bow. Jesus is Lord. That's what I was to cry no more. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> 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 I'm having this affliction. Epilepsy for ten years. Yes. That's epilepsy. Yes. Two of you have epilepsy. Yes. Hey. Oh, you see this one? Look at this one. Look at this one.
I had the I left the house to one by foot stove. So I fell on the roadside without knowing. So when I came down to, when I come back to the house. Okay. Um, yeah, but this uh, some of these things that happen. You, you, the, the two of you who help explain this. Uh, she is in Lima now, as we speak. She's in Douala. She's in Douala. She lives here. She saw me on TV. Came because to Lima some of these things happen, and it's difficult for me to believe her. Eh? And I'm sure many persons who are watching in the house. So I'll plead with you, sir, mm -hmm. if it's possible for me to to meet this lady, eh? okay, and maybe interview some of the neighbors. They should tell us these, these stories. Okay. Yes. Very possible. It, it looked like a fairy tale. Very possible. Mm -hmm. You see, um, the truth possible. is that when it comes to miracles, mm -hmm. the miracles are real. The Bible is a miracle. Is a book of chronicles of miracles. Mm -hmm. That is, even the birth of Jesus mm -hmm. was a miracle. Christianity began with a miracle. How can you imagine that a virgin? conceive logically it doesn't make sense scientifically it doesn't make sense but it was a miracle mm. so there are some things that people see in churches today and they think it is something that is stage managed mm -hmm. they don't know that miracles are real and when you have the faith it works it works uh, mm. okay uh, faith is the mother of miracles mm -hmm. when people believe things happen it's not fiction <coughs> It's not yeah, fiction. Uh, so uh, we, from what we saw for this lady it was also a crossover from what humiliation... Epilepsy mm -hmm. to her freedom. Mm -hmm. That was 10 years epilepsy. You had her 10 years. Her junior sister crying 3 years. But God healed them completely. That day she came, it was 2 months later after the program, mm -hmm. after the prayer. She stayed 2 months later she came for testimony. Mm -hmm. I could never recognize her again. She came to church testimony time, okay, but we're still in a small church. And she came out, she testified, I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Because she changed, if you look at her look from the day she came and this other one, she has really changed. So everything you watch on uh, from Prophet Elijah is real because I'm 100% against fake prophets, trust me. They don't, they, especially but they don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, but some, somebody, somebody wrote to, <laughs> to earlier, now where we just started, yeah, yeah. Yeah. how do you know fake when you say somebody is fake, how do we oh, know now? How do you know? It, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, by their fruits, we shall know them. What they speak, what they do. It's only what uh, you yeah. said. But mm -hmm. this, is, this is crossing over. Every year there's going to be a word, prophetic word now. Mm -hmm. That is the message that is going to carry Christians across. Prophetic theme. Yes. There's the, I'm sure both in uh, your church and uh, prophet, you already have one for Christians? Yes, of course I do, but I can't say it now. <laughs> the same thing. I can't tell you, sorry. <laughs> so, because the message is preserved for that night, yes, that what, particular night, that faithful night. That's when we release it. The more Everybody. reason why they should come for it. The Not Christians. only that, you know, people. some people do copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I can give my prophetic one now. Somebody just copy it, bam. No, we, we keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that uh, yeah. it's not even because of copy for me. Yeah. Because if you copy something that's good, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Especially when we are operating under one spirit. Mm. Uh, you, you know, when you sit with somebody who is writing. You see, that's only when we don't accept <laughs> copy. <laughs> but mm. when you get into the scriptures, mm. you see that God encourages imitation. Mm. Even uh, Paul said, "Be imitate me, as I am imitating Christ." Mm -hmm. So you see, uh, I think uh, for me, it's just that I, I want it released that day mm. because that is the day that the, was that appointed is the for the message. Day. Yes, yeah, yes, that, yes, that's the day exactly. that was appointed for that message. Mm -hmm. So you, you you have to release it that day and the way it comes it comes with some fresh fire and exactly. it comes with that with, with force mm -hmm. you see and so if you release it now it's like you 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 you, you you're, you're just like replaying mm -hmm. you are not you are not doing it mm -hmm. so the day, the i, I day, think the, the day, day is the important. day for the prophetic message. sometimes god reviews something and they say seal it mm -hmm. it is in the future so mm -hmm. what we have received mm -hmm. it is for that day for that day mm -hmm. but it's also a day for a, a special a special a special message to the world 
through his servants. Of course. Mm -hmm. The messages are going to be uh, wonderful. They'll come with power. Uh, you know, the truth is that as a man of God, we need to speak to our authorities. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's why I, I always come to panels like this because I believe that my opinion matters. Uh, sometimes we, we pray only in, within our four walls and we don't make sure that the message goes to the quarters, to the real quarters. For instance, we are part of this nation and we are also patriotic. Mm -hmm. And being patriotic citizens, we want this nation to be better. So it is a time to where we have to speak also to the powers that be mm -hmm. of their responsibilities in order to make this nation a beautiful place that all of us we will enjoy. Mm -hmm. Because nobody is more Cameroonian than the other. Mm -hmm. We are Cameroonian. So we must use the resources God has given us as prophets mm -hmm. to make sure that things are better in this country. And our, the authorities who are in place are having a very important role to play for next year in Cameroon. So we have to be able to address them too. Okay, that, that night, that uh, night, that night, special message has to night. be addressed to of course. the authorities. Okay, <laughs> good evening, Mr. Liu. The program is very interesting. I wish you guys a prosperous uh, New Year 2021. Masama Mbele Daniel writing from Kumba. Special greetings to you too. You may enjoy whatever love at others because today you see good things are coming your ways. Okay, I just are coming your ways, but but don't forget those who were there for you when all these things you enjoyed today was not yet uh, there. I just passed. Who knows tomorrow? Okay, <laughs> the message is gone. I don't know who is writing it. Uh, when you write a message, just say who is writing and where you're writing from. Good evening, Mr. Liu and men of God. Uh, good job. Keep it up. God bless you all. Help us uh, with numbers if we can get to you, men of God. Um, please, just if you need any number at the end of the show, just uh, write, send, send a message. I will forward their numbers to you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu and uh, the men of God in the studio. The early Africans woke up okay from this slumber. Nothing will happen. Okay, Raymond is writing from the United Arab Emirates. Hi, Mr. Liu, Mr. Sebastian in Kumba. Christian region is a foundation. Uh, the cross overnight is all for world. Be the Father Yahweh does not count him time from midnight and night. Your message is not too clear. Can you just uh, rewrite it? I'll read it. <laughs> Uh, hello Liu and the men of God why is crossover necessary at the end of the year when each day is a crossover must we cross over only on December 31st um, B in Zhang writing um, can we answer, provide an answer to this world every day is a crossover mm -hmm. Job said the other day has thou commanded your day so every day we get up we must command our day it's not only 31st December that we need to enter a new year this 31st december issue is because we are entering a new year mm -hmm. but every day you get up like some of us 12 o'clock does not meet us on the bed some of us we are 11 p.m we are up till 1 a.m or 2 a.m or 3 a.m or 4 a.m so jesus said it very clearly say love not sleep i'm not a, a teacher i know if we have a apostle college here it will help us bring us all the scriptures and the other black guy that is i forgot his name amen me i'm just a prophet i, I demonstrate power raw power mm -hmm. so we every day we need to we need to wake up enter a new day jesus said don't like sleep hate sleep so every day is a crossover if you must succeed in a particular day you need to wake up millionaires they don't sleep people that are making money dignitaries president ministers they don't sleep they stay up 4 a.m. They are up doing their taking care of some of their notes, programming themselves for the office and all these things. So crossover is every day. If you need to be a successful man or a woman, businessman, you must be awake as early as possible. So to me, crossover is every day. The one in 31st is just the one that we are entering a, a new year, and it, which is very, very significant. So that the, that year completely will be a year of blessings. And why not salvation or walking with Christ? Many people really like to walk with Christ. They want to give their life to Jesus Christ. And, and they need to look at their life. If you are doing some things, you are living a kind of life that is not really working. Why not change? 
you look at your life from January to December, the kind of life you were living before, you just make it a, a turn around, a U-turn, you say, okay, I'm going to church now, let me cross over in a church. Let me not cross over in a place where we are drinking alcohol. It also determines how you cross over, like I said the other day. Where you cross over, is also, it also matters. Somebody cross over, somebody contacted me already, they say, man of God, my life changed from the day I made up my mind to cross over in a church. You always have 31st night, 31st night, he goes to places, drink, make noise, happy new year, oh, oh, with beer for your hand. You the happy new year with beer for your hand, you the shout. That year, if he finish you, that year can end with you with that same alcohol in your hand. This thing has a lot of spiritual meaning. So in the house of God, that's why we invite people to come to church and cross over in the church where you can hear some sound teaching and doctrine. You can give your life to Christ. You can make a decision. Okay, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I want Jesus to help me with grace to walk in line with his word. So it's very important. Cross over is every day. Okay, cross over is every day. Um, but is it really also very important this year because 2020 has been particularly difficult yes um when the difficulties people have to run to god mm. because he is the solution to all the challenges we have mm. uh, every problem that exists has a solution we got so if uh, the year 2020 which we all know has it's been a really a difficult it's been a challenging year mm. and that's the more reason people need to get closer to god so that they need to get a uh, Fortified, fortified, fortified. So mm, because 2021 may God even, can yeah. turn things in their favor. Mm -hmm. When you are with God, no matter what is coming against you, you will overcome. If you are alone, the Bible says, "Woe to he who is alone." God is the greatest helper we have, mm -hmm. and if you are entering the new year that has new challenges, it's just like somebody said, "I don't know." what will what is waiting for me tomorrow but what i'm certain about is that i know who holds tomorrow god is the one who holds tomorrow and it is important for everybody to hook up with him or to 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 to, to be in his presence as we are entering the new year mm -hmm. okay very important uh, to be in his presence as we enter the new year Good evening, Mr. Liu. It's uh, Njito Betran. The program is so interesting. We thank, we thank you. Happy New Year in advance. Please, how will I do to get uh, to Prophet Elijah? I need help. Thanks. I'm writing from Penda Moku. Uh, Prophet Elijah, can you just give them your number? Okay. If it's, if it's, if it's, uh, uh, the number is 672-681-631. On WhatsApp, you can still get me the same number. 672 68 1631 672 one. 1631 God bless uh, you, sir. Yes, uh, Pastor Chris. Yeah, yes, some persons may also want to need your number. Okay, it is uh, 677 137617. 677 137617. Okay, it's also a WhatsApp number. Okay, hi, uh. Mr. Liu, please help me with the numbers of those two men of God. Thanks. If I'm sure they just give their numbers. I hope you got it. Uh, you got the numbers from uh, Prophet Elijah and uh, Pastor Chris. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Those two men of God have uh, wisdom, more grace. Somewhere writing from Yaoundé. Please, I would love to get uh, the numbers. Um, I don't know. if Can we have their numbers on the screen? Yes, just uh, write, you write uh, Pastor Chris and the name. Just have this, you write the, the Pastor Chris number and uh, Prophet Elijah's uh, number so that we can have it on the screens, please. Um, yeah, so let me be getting more of the messages. Hi, Mr. Liu, I'm very glad for such an enriching program. God bless you all. Uh, the special greetings to our wonderful uh, prophets in the studio. George Etengene is writing from uh, Mamfi. Uh, greetings. Good evening. Uh, my brother, I just wanted to send these passages to the man who was asking about the tithe. He should read Deuteronomy 26 and Deuteronomy uh, 14, 22, and Malachi 
3611. Thanks, my brother. God bless you. Good night. I'm called Agabanji from Dumbo Village in uh, Yaoundé. Okay, uh, thank you. This one says, uh, Good evening, my prophet from Power and Hope. You prophesied to me last year in Pojongo. I need to testify. So, where are we crossing the night? It's Emmanuel from Bojongo. Okay, Emmanuel is in Bojongo. He said I spoke prophetically over his life last year. Mm. Uh, this year we're going to be crossing over in uh, Bepanda. I think we got the the poster there in, in the, on the screen, which uh, uh, which is uh, explaining our program. It is in Bepanda. I don't know if the technicians can put it on the screen so that we can see it. It is in Bepanda, just beside Jenny Militaire. Mm. Uh, this new road after Pom Bonabase. That number will use it to to actually will, will give you uh, the address. Some of you may, may want to come on the thirty first night. Just call that number. Will give you the the address of the church, okay. and you make it there. It's there in is Bepanda, there, just mm -hmm. beside Jenny Militaire. There is uh, there is this. I want us to, to 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 talk about it. There's somebody watching from Bermuda says, "Good evening, Mr. Liu, and to you, my beloved men of God." I am Banky Christopher, writing from Bermuda. I love this program so much. Spiritually, Jesus Christ had. A cross overnight with some of his apostles. See Matthew 26 37 uh, to 39. When you plan with God, you will definitely succeed. Obedience is better than uh, sacrifice. We can understand this. The, was it the Passover? The night? Yes. It was the Passover where he was to be betrayed and all that. Mm -hmm. So it was the crossover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, Liu and those at the studio. I'm writing from Kumba. Men of God could. Okay. They could not prophesy certain bad things of this year okay <laughs> god does not show them everything now now uh this is this also a service for miracles prophet elijah oh is there we are just coming to thank god we receive the the prophetic message are we going to see the power demonstrated on the 31st for sure sir for sure like i said i'm a prophet there is no way <laughs> even now if you give me opportunity i'll be i can prophesy even to anybody watching me live and direct so the, the anointing works anywhere i go the grace is just that must not be on the other no, so, somebody can call me now say prophet speak in my life now nah, nah, maybe tomorrow okay now like the crossover you said <laughs> people should expect the power yes. and deliverance crossover everything you will drop it down mm -hmm. whatever that is not working right in your life maybe you are sick in your body bring the sick please bring me sick people okay. i don't like headache bring something like fibroid barrenness we have a testimony that the woman was sick i don't know it's just because of time she had 10 sickness in her body kidney failure uh, hiv uh, partial blindness uh, in fact the, the the illness were terrible hiv about 10 and she was down for 20 years in Limbe, she's in Limbe. Twenty, all the numbers I can give them to you. Follow them. Twenty years she was down, but when I when they brought her to church, when I prayed for her, God deliver her. So crossover, come with challenges, come with the things you want to drop. You don't want to see them again in your life. Just come with them. The will demonstration, prophetic word. I will look your face. I prophesy. I want to see your face over this crossover. Let me see your face. I will speak a word in your life that will manifest in the year 2021. You just come receive a prophetic a prophetic word for your life for 2021. Those that are sick, you want to be healed. Come, God of Elijah, we use me to heal you. The same power that works in the days of Elijah is still working in our days today so that is it there'll be power demonstration healing deliverance prophecy breakthrough uh praise and worship salvation people need to give their life to christ very important <laughs> so everything is very very important you know, ah, see, okay. those pastors have spoken well and i even feel guilty now i'm called taken from limbe good evening mr Liu. good evening to you too uh that's the power of the word now yes yes um, it, yeah like we, we like uh, we, you were asking that is, is it going to be a miracle night mm -hmm. of course uh, every time we are in the presence of the lord mm -hmm. we have to be expectant of miracles mm -hmm. and let me tell you something it is your expectation that sets you, the peace for experience mm -hmm. what you expect determines what you are going to experience mm -hmm. if you have a greater if you have a greater expectation then your experience is also going to be greater mm 
So I want the people to come for, uh, for that thirty-first night, expecting God to move in their favor, and they're going to see God move in their favor. There are so many testimonies that, uh, by the grace of the Lord, we recorded in our crossover night. There are many people who traveled, who, and they had received a prophecy mm -hmm. before it materialized. Mm -hmm. like, like, we spoke like the brother who's just writing from Bojongo now. The, the, I don't know what I don't even know, I don't even know what he's testifying about. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he's going to come and testify on the 31st night. Yeah. So Christianity is about the miraculous. And let me tell you the truth too. Because when we talk of uh, demonstration of the power of the law of God, you also know that the word of God, which will be coming also from altars that day, is going to be very, very powerful. One word can change somebody's life forever. Mm -hmm. The centurion told Jesus, say only a word and my servant will be healed. And Jesus released that word, and that man's servant was healed instantly. So one word can catapult you from, from the dust and put you in a, in a wonderful position of prosperity. Mm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, good evening to you all in this program. Um, Liu, I'm Liu, writing from Limbe. I love the program. Mr. Liu, please help me ask uh, the men of God uh, this question. An angel came to Mary, and she gave birth to Jesus. And that was a great miracle but if it happens today that a girl is pregnant without sleeping with a man would they take it as uh, the same miracle i wish to learn wishing all the best in 2021 in jesus name amen thank you very much please uh, mr Liu, tell the men of god to repeat their numbers um the numbers are going to be put on your screens don't worry very soon you have the two numbers on the screen so that you can get uh, the numbers to get to, to the men of god hi mr leo good evening i just want to say more grace to our two prophets i'm called pastor tinge also writing from uh limbe uh, this one says i'm peter writing from kumba good evening mr leo and our men of god okay uh, good evening to you to peter Good evening, Mr. Liu. God will bless you for your good work. Richard is writing from uh, Kumba. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Richard. I pray God bless all of us, <laughs> not only me. Uh, hello, Mr. Liu. I'm Giselle, a daughter of fire. Just want to appreciate your program and to say more grace to my father, Prophet Elijah Abri, uh, the prophet of fire. And I also greet the other man of God. Uh, you are writing from Limba. Good evening to you. Amy writing from Bermuda. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Prophet, talk of what is working uh, for you should be applied. Okay. Looking at the case of Moses hitting the rock instead of talking to the rock, they produce water, but that was a wrong method. So we should also be careful about the methods of what we do. Thanks. Emil, thank you uh, very much for that contribution. Good evening. Mr. Liu, Happy New Year to you and the other two great preachers of the world. I have met both servants and I can say they are all serving an awesomely awesome God. Pastor Chris is a great preacher and Prophet Elijah is a fire burner preacher. I wish uh, viewers can take this man serious. I'm Eze Don, the mayor, writing from uh, Limbe. Good evening mm. to you. <clears throat> I wish to be part of that your program because any person called him. Uh, okay. Please, if you want to participate, just write to me. And if you are disposed, I will invite you. Good evening, Mr. Liu and our men of God. Crossover is very important in our lives. People may say whatever somebody talk about Jesus didn't use a car. Was the donkey Jesus Christ used at the time was not a car. And Peter writing from... Uh, from Kumba. Good evening, Mr. Liu and fellow men of God in the studio. I'm Napoleon from Yaoundé. Please, I have a question. Why does the other pastor use anger chief to heal? Does it mean the power of God is found on it? And why did he write his name on it? Okay, Prophet Elijah. Yes, sir. Yes, this question is for you. Okay, he said, why do I use? I don't use hanger chief to heal. We use it prophetically. I use it when instructed. It's not every time I use hanger chief. This thing does not heal. This is hanger chief. Mm -hmm. It's just a hanger chief like, like it's a hanger chief that I bought from the market, put our stamp there, pray on it, and God is using this thing to heal in situation where I'm not around. 
there's a testimony we have there's no time uh, a lady was in an operation room in limbe she had a, a topic pregnancy so she was about to be operated and her elder sister worshiped with us she took the mantle went to the hospital and she gave this lady she was already in the on the theater they were waiting for doctor to call this woman open to operate her and they put this mantle i was not there in that theater but they used my mantle <laughs> put on the womb of this woman and ethiopian pregnancy disappeared doctor came and checked her say madam i'm the same doctor that checked you but this thing is no more here and she was set free operation cancel from theater ward they sent her to a normal ward they kept her in the hospital for three days to re-examine her if truly she's healed now like i said god moves in a mysterious way I was not in the hospital, but they used the handkerchief, the mantle. I call it the mantle. Like I said, Elijah gave mantle to Elisha. So there's we mantle is just like it's just an instrument that has been blessed eh, by God's servant to bless God's people. Mm -hmm. Jesus used mort pot a pot of a pigeon, put a man in eye, in eye see. Jesus could, could have still said, Let your eye be open, be open, and the eye would have been open, like he told the other man, rise up and walk. Moses used a mantle. The mantle of Moses was the rock, the rock at the at the Red Sea. Uh, the Red Sea. Elijah was faced with River Jordan, and he struck River Jordan. Jordan opened. He gave the mantle to his servant Elisha, and Elisha used the same mantle and shouted, "Where is the Lord God of Elijah?" And when he struck the mantle, Jordan opened. So this thing is not like some of you are not so. Nice. If you are doubting the power of God, troop of Elijah, please call me one wish man, one uh, witch or wizard. Let me kill the man now. If you are a witch or a wizard, maybe you are an occultist, you are a witch or a wizard, and you, you believe you have power, pick my phone. That's me on the screen. Call me now. Let's let's demonstrate power now. If they know you have butchered the Saturday day. So me I kill witches, that's the truth. Well, we, I'm not here to kill witches today. Should not, they just reveal me. To, we should pray, pray for them to repent now. We have prayed for many to repent. There are some witches that will never repent. <laughs> there are some ones that have said over their dead body they will never repent. So those ones allow us to call fire, please. <laughs> Another question again, we said the, the other man said about said something about the, uh, Jesus. Uh, Mama Mary received a baby that was Jesus, and whether she was not pregnant. If it happens now, people will like criticize. It has happened in Limbe. I have the number, every information one I will give you. This lady, the testimony is even there in your studio today. I brought it. Okay. A lady got married to a man. Before that, she had a baby boy. She got married to this brother, took in, she put to bed. One more later, the child died. Then we, I don't know these people. They followed me over radio when I was preaching. The guy came to church. This child died. It was one year, one month when the child died. She has been for one year, one month without conceiving. She has been to hospitals, many things, and they scan her. They say, woman, you are not pregnant, but you are fine. Why? What is happening? For one year, one month. Until the family, the brother or the father of this brother went to the, the village, brought another girl, gave to this young man, said, okay, this one that is not taken in again, send this one back to the village. This young man got this one pregnant. The first one was there without pregnant. In Limbe, this young man came to church. We have a water. We call him Miracle Water. <laughs> God is great, my brother. We call him Miracle Water. The young man came and took the Miracle Water, went to the house, gave it to that, uh, the, the wife. She drank. I don't know what she ate. She said she ate pepper. She was just taking the water for pepper to subside. Five minutes later, a bouncy baby boy came out from my vagina, fell on the ground, palm. In Limbe, no before. Life. They cannot make news with that one. They are looking for when Prophet Elijah will pray. Some man wrestling. They say the whole way wrestling prayer. <laughs> yeah, but somebody just wrote. Somebody wrote to me that is that not the prophet? With, uh, this is the prophet. The wrestling prophet. Now me this. I have the testimonies there. This guy was sent from Kenya. Anyway, the one with the uh, baby, she's she's fine. Mm -hmm. A bouncy baby boy came out from her womb where she was not pregnant, and for the period of time, the husband was not even sleeping with her because the husband has had another wow. woman. So a bouncy baby boy came out. The testimony is here. I brought it here. Okay. Greetings. Um, so it is possible. It happens the days of Jesus, and somebody called me prophet. How can you explain to us when I said it on radio, prophet? How can you explain to us that the baby came out of the womb of a woman that was not pregnant? I said Jesus told us. He said greater things we will do in His name. So if we carry that Jesus inside of us, then everything is possible with okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, greetings, Mr. Liu. I'm an unbeliever, but very moved by the teachings of the two men of God. I request that they should pray for me, for God to arrest. Uh, is fear in me. I'm Paul writing from Kribi. Okay, uh, that's the power of the word of God. Yeah? People are convicted. Um, this one says, um, Sister Rita, please, can a man of God be under the influence of charm from a woman? Oops, we are this is taking us 
I'll prepare another program. I'll invite them so that you can ask. <laughs> okay, <laughs> about the wrestling, you saw it. I still have it there. This brother yes, was... a wrestling video. Can we? Because two people have written to let them play. They will get they will get testimony from the brother himself. That that wrestling shook the whole world. People said they will arrest me. They will lock my child. And I was waiting for the man that will come and arrest me. Let me show the power of God in my life. This brother was sent from Kenya. They paid his flight, emergency flight from Kenya to Cameroon. This left hand died. The, a, a friend, his friend, girlfriend, went to a charm, a witch doctor. That's why I hate witch doctor with passion. To destroy this brother. They flew him from, from Kenya to Cameroon. They brought him to church. God said, Elijah, that's how you deliver this man. It has never happened. That man weighed eight, eight, uh, 87 kilograms. And we're sitting and weighing 57 kilograms. How, how on earth, that man big like this, my, 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 my pastor here. How me, Prophet Elijah, pick that kind of big man? That was God said, Elijah, that's the way you deliver this man. The Lord told me, Elijah, this man is in the grave. Carry this man, do as you want, do it. It happens three times, they saw it just two times. And after that day, this man delivered. The woman that attacked this man confessed to him that I'm the one doing this to you. I'm from Kenya. And I'm talking to you now, the testimony is that the left hand that was dead is fine. The brother is okay. I have shared it on my Facebook. I have shared the testimony. Nobody is posting that one again. The end of rest in the whole world will talk. Please, before we criticize something, look for the result and why God use ask them. That is it. If they can play it, please just the it. That is it, brother. The, the, rest, the wrestling and testimony is there. Just play my brother back. <laughs> Macha, Macha. God bless you mightily. We say in French that uh, uh, Dieu, Dieu te béni. Uh, Dieu vous béni. God bless you. Uh, God bless you in English mightily. This is a uh, brother Gerard, uh, my son, son of fire. Yes, he belongs. To, he belongs to the fire. Some family, the jam family, the family of fire now because his enemies has been put to shame. Amen. His Amen. enemies have been put to shame. Amen. Those that are hear bad news is bad news that will clog their own lives Amen. anyone that will waiting to hear bad news oh gerard gerard prophet elijah carry gerard for church like i would done our list. Now spiritual wrestling. Uh -huh. So his enemies, all of you, his enemies that you are watching me now, you have been praying, planning him bad. You will see him, this is him, he's testifying, and God give, receive the glory to himself. So I want to to tell us something to greet you and tell you something very important. Brothers and sisters, watch people to first of all look at my hand aha uh -huh. you could not walk this is the hand it's moving this is the hand that could not walk yes. let me tell us it's moving look at yes it's the glory of god amen it's the glory of god with the other hand let us see what they have maybe look. they think that uh he just went to dr <laughs> zuna in my at my hospital he said i should do like this uh -huh. you could not go but today i can do like this after so the I prayers give god the glory after the prayers Everything is functioning. Yeah. How do you how did you come to Cameroon? When you came to Cameroon, what happened? Oh, I just very big. Well, uh, we prepared. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Some some persons have written to me. I'm sure two three persons have written that is that not the man of God who was doing wrestling in church and thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. He said, "Yeah, but." Uh, you know there there are some things that like uh, that should not just be copied mm -hmm. when you see a man of god do something like I, we talked about imitation isn't there are some things that until you are convicted mm -hmm. to do don't do it because it can lead to casualties mm -hmm. uh, it is by revelation that he did that it is not a culture he, he doesn't have the culture of doing that always mm -hmm. because another man of god can see it and then just go and carry somebody and hit him on the ground and instead the man will not get up again he will die and that will mean he has landed himself into trouble so there are some things that you should see but don't copy until you are convinced to do it 
Like uh, there is one man, great man of God, who is of blessed memory, Ren Habonke. He said he was praying for somebody who was dying and getting up, and God told him, "Command the sickness to leave this man and come upon you." I said, "When he heard that voice, he said, but is it God? How can God be asking me to command sickness that wants to kill somebody to come on me?" And then he said, "But since he knows the voice of God, he did so." And when he commanded and said, sickness, leave this man and come on me. He just heard something, just a bit of a small sound on him. And then everything was okay. And God told him, you know why that sickness cannot do anything to you? Because you are hot. It cannot stay in you. You know, but that's something that is not like a doctrine. Because mm -hmm. somebody will be here and then go and command things to happen and all that and all that. And before yeah, but, you know but, it. but since we are talking about the crossover, is it also a time for confession, sir? That is a uh, time for salvation. Yes. For instance, salvation is the greatest miracle. Mm -hmm. Before miracles of uh, lame walking, blind eyes seeing, salvation, when somebody gives his life to Christ, that is the first miracle. And the, the, we, we cannot cross over into the new year. Uh, without giving people the opportunity to repent, give their lives to Jesus, and to take a new course for their lives. Because that is the most important. Other things just build on that one. But salvation is the first and most important thing that should happen in the life of somebody. Now, uh, Prophet Elijah, or uh, as, as we look forward to the new year, many new year resolutions are going to be uh, taken. Uh, do you believe in New Year resolutions? How do you take new resolutions? Is it just giving your life to Christ? And after giving your life to Christ, you need to sustain it throughout the year. How do we do that? Yeah, having a New Year resolution is very important. To me, sometimes what I do, I write the things I want God to do for me okay. throughout that year, for that year. Mm -hmm. And everything I wrote in 2019, uh, crossover to 2020, God has answered me. For instance, I, I, my, one of my prayer points was, Oh God, take the ministry, give us a big space, and God did that. Another prayer point, Oh God, give me a new car, give me a new Jeep. Mm -hmm. Like the one I drove to Douala, a very big Jeep. <laughs> Another prayer point, No, I hate poverty, that's the truth. I don't like poverty in my life one bit. <laughs> okay, um, Another prayer point, Okay, give us a TV channel. Now we have a television channel where we are under Swecom, mm -hmm. Channel of Fire TV. Okay. So it's welcome, we have it. So when you write those things now, you come with it. Like everybody, I invite you to come uh, for a crossover. Bring your new resolution. Bring Write the things you want God to do for you in 2021. Bring those prayer points. I will pray, lay hands on all those prayer points. Write them in a paper, piece of paper. I will lay hands on it and it will manifest. Yeah, but, but it, it is important for the televiewers to understand that you, to take a resolution, by a power, it cannot work. It is only God that uh, takes you through. This. Yeah, that's that's why we talk about salvation. Mm -hmm. Now, you we cannot do anything on our own power. Mm -hmm. It's by the power of God. So, number one miracle, like I said before, and my brother has confirmed again, is a uh, uh, salvation. If you follow me from when I've been saying, I'm talking about salvation. Forget the, the miracle, the deliverance, the breakthrough. Jesus said healing is the bread of the children. So it's our right, it's your right to be healed, to be delivered, to have money, to drive cars, to all these things. It's your right. But how, what, how, what brings or what activates these rights to manifest in your life? What brings the result is your salvation, your walking with Christ. So for these things to work, we must accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. He said he's the way, the truth, and the light. You will agree with me that before a community is developed, the first thing they do, they make way, roads. They do roads before they put lights. Road come first. So when we accept Jesus, he will come inside of us, make way, open those doors for us, those those doors, connect us to people that will help us, destiny help us. Then he will enlighten our life. So we need Jesus in our life. Okay. Uh, hello, sir. I'm happy with the two prophets in the studio. Please uh, let the prophet Elijah pray for me. I'm called Brother Ezekiel in Douala. Um, you have his number now. Just call him. Good evening, Mr. Lui. I wish to ask uh, Prophet Elijah the price he paid before he could manifest such powers. I'm Fanwell from Yaoundé. Oh, the price I paid? Mm -hmm. Very good question. Like I said, uh, everything is sacrificed in this life. Uh, what is speaking in my life by the grace of God is, is, our, is, is I would say, sacrifice. Like I said, my father was a reverend pastor. My father went to Bible school at the age of 17. Came out from the God married to my mother. 
he was a reverend pastor for 54 years so me i'll be pastor at Pekin. so uh, my father suffered my father never experienced any wealth in his life he paid the price he suffered okay. on this earth. uh prophet uh, another question for you i want to ask prophet elijah why when they call him pastor he said he is a prophet or start change who he is to me all names or titles amadu is writing from uh i don't know he's insisting eh? he has okay. written again that I, I should ask the question yes now. thank you sir i i have a lot of followers now i know it amen now uh my brother will agree with me we have five full ministries mm -hmm. everybody knows their calling we have it we have teachers like people like apostle collins i know he's watching us he's a great teacher and the other man i forgot his name he used to be at the fat <laughs> not boss ambi ambi good i love that man he teaches like something else <laughs> i think i will look for time and invite him in liberty to come and teach us something um so this these are teachers uh, we have teachers we have apostles we have prophets we have pastors we have evangelists so you cannot call uh, a, a police officer a gendarme this is where people missed it me I, i'll correct you even now you call me pastor say I'm, a, I'm a prophet okay so you i know the area god i'm operating in onto all of us like like we have national security force eh? <laughs> but they are all national security forces but they mm -hmm. have different area of job jurisdiction mm -hmm. So it's not anything if ever but for me i want you to call me prophet because that's where i'm called <laughs> <laughs> okay is that the uh when new year resolutions are done uh, you you may, you may say i will no longer drink i'll no longer womanize i'll no longer steal i'll not but you find yourself doing it um so should people that, just when cast all these burdens to god to, uh, to the truth is that when you take a new year resolution mm -hmm. back by the spirit of god Mm. there is need for follow-up okay you don't just say it that day and then relax mm -hmm. this word is a cause you have to be persistent because the devil tempted jesus how many times three times the first time the second time the third time so when you have made a new year resolution get ready for temptation that's why you must arm yourself with, through prayers through um, constant nourishment through the word of god so that you can stay strong and be able to resist temptation because when you say i don't want to drink in 2021 just know that you have opened up for temptation temptation will come but if it comes and you are not on your guard you will fall uh, you fall into temptation so when you make a new year resolution let it not just be talking match your talk with action make sure you are constantly on your guard so that the enemy will not take you and lead you astray okay mr liu god will bless you for me i want these two men of god to release prophecy for my life now i love them eta is writing from um, mutengene the boat are going to release uh, those prophecies at the end of the program please uh, good evening mr liu and all the prophets in the studio please ask the men of god if it is possible for a dead man to be resurrected on a crossover day is Nathan writing from uh, Kumba uh, this one says please uh, man of God thanks you people for this program man of God is it advisable that we should preach in a car and an off license okay good evening mr. Liu <clears throat> the program is so amazing especially the part where prophet Elijah was doing wrestling haha <laughs> oh my god so funny well it's amazing I like the way prophet Christ prophet chris speaks with maturity and with no pride may god continue to elevate you prophet bison is writing from anguti uh, good evening okay i'm very satisfied with the response given by pastor chris okay uh, this one says uh, good evening mr liu i love your program Chris, the prophet of fire and uh, chris for me i'm panking yafi writing from bangolan in the northwest uh, region Hi, Mr. Liu. Uh, it's uh, me, Marvelous, from Yaoundé. Please let the man of God, Prophet Elijah, speak in my life. Things are not moving well. <laughs> That's not the reason why we did this program, please. We, we, it's for crossover, to prepare you to do crossover in the presence of God. Good evening, Mr. Liu and Tawe Jerome from Bepanda Omnispoor and my family. We have been in many church, but nothing is <laughs> is moving in our lives. Okay, so uh, very briefly, since we are almost out of time, 
what will be happening at the level of your church, where it is located, uh, how the, the crossover will look like. All right. The, our church is in Limbe. We are in Limbe behind, behind the zoo, opposite the car wash. If you are coming from half my, like, 100 meters from Central Police Station, where Zoo is behind, just opposite the car wash. Our church is there. Jesus Alive Ministries. And what will be happening, number one, is salvation. I heard somebody said, uh, New Resolution, you drink, you know, if you drink again. And I want to say something. Salvation is not automatic. You can, you give your life to Christ now. The next minute, something can still happen. The Bible said the righteous will fall 70 times and 70 times rise again. Now, I'm not giving licenses for people now to keep doing funny, funny things. But it's not automatic. When you start, it's a gradual process. Sometimes you find yourself doing some nasty things, you come back again. But the, the most important thing is for you to stay connected, stay focused, stay in the house of the Lord to hear the word of God that will renew our mind. The more you stay in the house of God, don't just come and cross over and disappear. When you cross over, anywhere you are you are watching us maybe you have your church anywhere cross over and keep worshiping god stay there that's where god will transform your life to the person that you have to be so deliverance will be there the salvation the deliverance from bondages i'll be dealing with evil authors family curses family curses and authors some families there is no marriage at all i'll be handling cases like that by the grace of god we have series of sisters even prostitutes sorry to use the word but they are having their husbands now as i speak we'll be dealing with family curses uh evil authors to break those evil family bondages and to set god's people free i've seen cases where uh, in a family people don't cross 40 years a lady came to me nobody crossed 40 years in their family as you reach 40 some man must die so she was, was 39, close to 40. She came, I prayed, God set her free. She's past 40 years now. Some family is limitation. Some family, nobody has ever drove a car. Nobody has owned a house. Some family, nobody, people, papa wear eyeglass, grandpapa wear eyeglass, papa wear eyeglass, picking wear eyeglass. No lenses that people wear. To them, it's normal. To me, it's not normal. I pray about four cases with this lenses issue, and God deliver them. So family cases will deal with all those things. And again. Yes, we're going to pray with all those things. We have them, church. They will start from what time? From 6 p.m. From 6 p.m. 6 p.m. at the door we start. So everywhere you are, you are invited. Just take your car, come to Limbe. Come and cross over with the prophet of fire. We are crossing over with fire. That's our topic. Crossing with fire to enter 2021 with fire mm -hmm. and to take over 2021. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are crossing over in Bepanda. Like I said before, our church is called Saint Miracle Center, Bepanda. We're situated just beside Jenny Milite. And that 31st night, we're going to begin from 7 p.m. And I invite every one of you to be part of this program. The most important thing that will be featuring will be the Word of God. And I can tell, I can guarantee you that God's Word will answer more than 75% of your challenges then the prophetic and and, and 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 prayers for the sick praying for people with projects because i think if you are entering the new year don't enter the new year empty enter the new year with projects with things you you want to realize with things you want to do because we're going to be praying for god's power to make these things materialize in your life in 2021 don't get in with, with a project less get in with a project so uh, i want to tell you it's going to be a very powerful night we're going to be dressed in white and we're going to come with candles uh, we're going to cross over triumphantly into 2021 if you are in douala wherever you are don't miss this great program it's going to be very wonderful okay god bless you it's going to be a wonderful the messages are so 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 many let me read five of them before we close for today. Good evening. Mr. Liu Mo is writing from Yaoundé. I would rather the New Year meets me in church than in the bar. Talk less of a nightclub. How do I explain that I usher myself into a New Year from a nightclub? It's irresponsible, I think. Uh, so, um, yes, many persons are already deciding how this should cross over. Good evening, Mr. Liu. It's Evangelist Vicky writing from Bermuda. New Year's resolution with without the knowledge of who you are in christ will not work because it is the grace of god in our lives not by our own power <clears throat> crossing over is in the mind not a night okay uh, good evening to you 
Wow, thank God Almighty that I can have your contact uh, today, okay? <coughs> Good evening to you. I'm Valentine writing from my four in Limbe. Good evening, uh, bro. Please, I want to ask the prophet of fire if my prayer request can be sent to him by text before coming that cross overnight, please. Okay, um, he's getting your message. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. I love the program so much. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. This can you help me with the number of Prophet Elijah? The number is there on the screen. Just get the number. Good evening, Mr. Liu, and the men of God in the studio. Please tell Pastor Chris I love his ways. Okay, <laughs> Emmanuel, smile, writing uh, from uh, Bafusam. Good evening to you all in the studio thanks to the two men of god please ask the men of god that prophecy is someone and teaching the person the word of god which is important john is writing from bomenda lots and lots of messages i am confused myself with them good evening Liu and the men of god must say i enjoy the program thank you uh, very much uh, good evening mr Liu crossover for man of God to tell Christians okay to be serious and hear the word of God okay good evening mr. Liu I'm enjoying the program okay prophet Chris is so level-headed and mature hope other men of God take a leap from his uh, okay good evening mr. Liu please help me tell prophet Elijah to prophesy for me and my partners okay good evening mr. Liu I'm Peter please uh, prophet should tell us something about uh, 2021 okay <laughs> good evening Mr. Liu I'm writing from Kumba good evening Mr. Liu I love your program I'm better Terence writing from Tiko we have to end here um, will any persons have asked that they should pray for them now yeah so can we pray for them and maybe uh, say a word on, on their lives okay uh, I think um, Prophet Elijah should pray. Let me agree with him in prayers so that we don't waste uh, okay. time. Yes. All right. Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for being the good God that you are because you know the end from the beginning. We thank you for those that are watching us on TV, on social media. We thank you for their lives. Okay. We thank you for this program for two cannot work together except they agree yes. we are here oh lord whatever we have said today is in one accord i don't yes. know your servant he never met with me but what we have discussed it shows that you have sent us yes. and we are from you and therefore I lord know. we join faith together as yes. your servant and i declare and i decree that anyone that is watching us right now that is sick in their body by the virtue of the blood of jesus christ yes. you say they were by your stripe we were healed mm -hmm. so i stretch my hand to the screen right Thank now you, that anyone that is sick from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet let the flaming of the holy Ghost crush out sickness from their body yes. let you say the word that whatever Jesus. you have not planted in our life must be uprooted i Amen. declare let every satanic plantation in their body be uprooted in the name of he who Amen. died that was led in the grave and i rose to don't thank you on the third day jesus christ the son of the living god lord as they watch us right now i declare and i decree they are protected yes those that the enemy has programmed to take their life or to waste their life anyone that has declared and decreed that your life will be wasted in this december to use you as your or your loved one as a sacrificial lamb let their own blood be wasted yes. in the name of jesus Amen. christ there shall be no more accident in your family no thank member you, in your family shall die thank as you, you watch us on this television or social media you are protected you are preserved you are reserved yes. by the fall of the holy ghost you are covered and by the flaming fall of the holy ghost i said you are covered yes. you are covered parties are protected your Amen. cars are protected thank you, accident jesus. is far from you and the blood of jesus christ protects you all in yes. jesus mighty name Amen. let the sick be healed please yes. just take your hands while you're feeling pain i don't know the lord is telling me something there's somebody you are watching us right now your ear you are feeling pain in your ear it's like there's a noise inside your ear please place your right hand there i want to do something and thank you holy spirit lord i declare and i decree by your power in the name of jesus let that young man be healed yes. from that ear problem in jesus name. there's somebody Amen. with the truth i don't know what they call it i don't know how they call this truth issue 
Father, I pray, let that throat issue right now, that pain now disappear in Jesus' mother name. Somebody is bleeding, a sister you are bleeding, be healed in Jesus' mother name. Amen. Somebody has miscarriage, you keep miscarriage. I'm seeing one, two, three, four miscarriages. As you place your own in your womb, Father, I declare, let that spirit of miscarriagement be arrested out of this life and let the baby come and stay in this womb. Lord, bless your people, protect them throughout this month. And as we cross over 31st December, Lord, let your presence fill all your churches that you have raised. And I pray for all the men of God. Father, bless them. Use them, upgrade them. Give them the understanding of your word. And let more grace come upon our lives thank in Jesus', Jesus. name. Amen. Okay. Um, we want to thank you, Prophet Elijah, all the way from uh, Limbe, to be part of this edition of Prime uh, and uh, to you. Uh, I'm confused now that to say Prophet Chris or Pastor Chris. Uh, personally, I I am comfortable uh, okay. with any. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we want to thank you both for coming and talking to our televiewers. The expectations are very high on the, on the 31st. They all are going to be there to cross over. Personally, I don't, I don't, I, whether I will do church here because we will, <laughs> the president of the republic will, will need, anyway, yes. <laughs> I don't know where, where I will. maybe we'll do church here. Yeah. Everybody will cross over to. Of course, of course, of course. You, have, you, you guys should relay our tea, our our program on that. Day. Okay, now we have to thank you, to thank, uh, you all to time up to watch uh, the program tomorrow. We are still going to be staying with men of God, but this time around, not talking about uh, the crossover. Uh, there is uh, a plan, a communicable service that is supposed to take place next year, uh, January 2nd, uh, by the church. Muslims and Christians want to come together to see, to find a way out of the ongoing Anglophone uh, crisis. They are going to be here tomorrow to tell us uh, the plans uh, they have for the Anglophone uh, crisis. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs>